in the box. I really did. <laughs> you know, I, I remember being in Hemingway's in probably my, I'd say, early to mid-20s. And we're, st- we're in that back room back there, and I smell something. I'm like, what? What is that smell? Like, did somebody throw up? I turn around, and my buddy is eating a, a freaking pizza out of the box from the oven. <laughs> that's what the smell. That's yeah. what the smell was. It's it's hey. it's the worst. Hey, the, hey, hey, I like hey, I like for people to. Hey, 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 Chris, I like the name drop there, Hemingways. <laughs> oh yeah, Hemingways. Uh, it's like C.J. Barney's. You know what I mean? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Those 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 Oakland those Oakland bars. All right, Coach. Uh, what, what's let's see your list. Um, I mean, you know, I didn't, I didn't really rank them, and look. These are only shop. I'm only listing shops that I've eaten at least one bite of pizza at. Okay. Like if I've never taken, I'm not going to be like some people and just say this is great because everybody else says it's great. Yeah. yeah absolutely. So, but I, I will give you my top three in order, which I said number one is for sure and will always be for Yori's. Yeah. Number two is Slice on Broadway. <sighs> number three yeah. is Aiello's. And then in no other no no special order, uh, Minio's, Piccolo Piccolo Fiorno, uh, Vincent's, La Tavola in Mount Washington, Driftwood Oven Butler Street, Pizza Badamo, uh, Northside and Mount Lebanon and South Hills, I believe, uh, Conicellas and Deanne was in the Strip, which is a sleeper. Yeah, yeah. It, that that is a sleeper. I forgot about that place. Okay. They only serve it during lunch, I think. Yeah, we. Well, uh, there was a place. There used to be a place down there. It was down by Permanis, but it was Bellanote. Uh, I forget what it was called. Bell, was... Bellanote is kind of not not not, not, not strip there. district, but kind of near strip. I think they call it Central District or something like that. It's right downtown. Well, there was a shop years ago. And it wasn't even really a shop. It was like an old school, an Italian family owned it. But it was. If you you know where like the costume store is down the strip on the main yeah. drag, yeah. Across the street you got those old loading docks. There was one in there, and you just go in and you just buy it by the slice, and it was just a window you go up to. And I forget what the hell it was called, but you get these slices that were like these things were like look like a like a baseball base, you know what I mean? Like a like a it was they were huge, and I forget what the hell the place was called. All but right. they served it. They served it lunch hours, and they served it at one a.m. till three or four. You know, you catch everybody coming out of the you know clubs or whatever else. I forget what the hell it was called. It's we need there. to talk about the ones in the squir- in Squirrel Hill, basically okay. Minios and ILOs. We can do. You know what? There's a third that got a vote, and you know we actually. You know it. You know I, I do coach. I coach high school hoops, and our senior night is tomorrow, and the kids asked what they want and they said pizza and one of the the votes was napoli and squirrel hill which i completely forgot about and did receive a vote i n- never heard of them i mean i've i, I did it's see tough. that somebody voted for it but yeah i've never i, I, I didn't just, even I've, know i've never had pizza i've never had pizza at Iella's, but but i've had pizza in numerous minios um it's Here, just here, here's my thing about minios and minios is basically i mean w- when when you, I mean, they Minio's got the second most votes behind Fiori's in my little thing, and um, it's basically considered, you know, right up there. It's like Minio's or Fiori's is is what people think. Uh, I I just don't like Minio's. I don't like their sauce. Uh, yeah, most pizza sauces are sweet, but Minio's is not, and I just don't. I've tried. I, I like it's like yeah. oh god, something got to be wrong with me. I'm How can I not like Minio's? But I just dollars. don't like it. Is it is is it expensive? Oh man, I I was just joking with my brother the other day. Hey, do you remember the the time we went to Minia's and paid you know twenty four bucks for a small pepperoni? Holy wow. cow! You Jeez. know it, it, it's exp- it, it's pricey, man. I, but I'm with you. Like I, the sauce isn't for me. I mean, it's good. Like I'll definitely put it in the top ten, top twelve. Yeah. Um. Well, there's so many of them, you know. You guys were talking about closed down pizza shops that you love, and I'll tell you what, it was always top three to five for me was Minatello's on Shady Ave, um, kind of like borderline East Liberty. 
man, I mean, that was always one of my favorites, but they closed down a while ago. Yeah, it sucks. It, it's, it sucks when you go to a place. Like, like I was talking earlier about Johnny's Pizza, the Heights. It was like, it sucks when you find a place. It's like, especially when you grow up with it. And then yeah. it just, shuts down like you know i'd like my kids to have had johnny's pizza like it's how good i thought it was you know what i mean like it was just you know but hey it is what it is <laughs> um, my uh my parents live um out in murraysville and uh they came to visit and they, we went to Bel- belisario's and they loved it so much and then they said okay you know what's the bill and when they got the bill they said you're not charging enough for this pizza i think they, it was like only like like ten dollars for a large or something like that. Like, no, no, no. Here's here's twenty dollars. You didn't you didn't charge me enough for this. Here's you need more money. Did you get it with <laughs> or without the staple? It was we, we said hold the staples. Okay. Hold the staples. Said, uh, no staples, no thumbtacks. Um, still the best. No, no, still no, the best in the North Hills. <laughs> still the that's that's how that's how weak the North region is. <laughs> you can, right, you can right? get it literally, all nearly eat a staple and die, and still <laughs> still, still still claim the title of the North Hills area. Best, best in the North Hills. No, listen. Um, no, seriously. Shout out to Frank's Pizza because they are the best. All one of the best all around. You know, hoagies, wings, chicken, everything. I've never had. I've never had Buffalo Frank's. chicken pizza. I've never had Frank's either. Where's it? Gotta where, try it. Where is that? Is that There's a Mil- few locations. The original in Millville. Yeah. The yeah. original Millville. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, how about Sir Pizza? Have you ever had that? It's okay. It's like tavern style pizza. Yeah. Um, it's okay. I had. Yeah, I had it once. I had it once. I. I I'll give special. Um, they get extra points because. Uh, at this, I think there's two Sir Pizzas, but but at, at the at the one, I think it's kind of like Three Degree Road or whatever. There is a Donkey Kong machine. There uh, is, what? I believe, Miss Pac Man. Um, there's a couple like the, other original arcade games from the '80s. So original, so old school OG original. That's, yes. That's yes. None cool. of this. None of this simulation stuff. It is. <laughs> it is original. And I originally still suck at Donkey Kong, just like I did in the. 80s. <laughs> now how? Now how much does it cost? Though is it a quarter? It's a quarter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. So see, that's, I, that's, that's that's really I, nice. I also like. See, I like I like pizza shops that sell Turners. So, oh God! Yes. Yes. <laughs> there, there's there, there's a there's a couple places. Um, like this, this Portofino's over here by me, um, is in my probably top five, just, just because the, the, the pizza's good, but the guy's a local guy. He's lived here for years. He owns properties. He does a lot for the community. So I kind of like rank him based on that. Their pizza's delicious too. And their wings hey, and everything. There's but a they, certain place coach. You know what I'm talking about that sells Turner's tea. Uh, and, uh, it's it's a one it's a beautiful thing. Any any place that sells Turner's tea, that's uh that's pure yeah. Pittsburgh right there. That's I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, that's like a deer that's like a deer diary moment, you know what I mean? You walk in, you got your pepperoni pizza or whatever you like, and yeah, you turn and, around and, and, and there's Turner's and, and, and the like, Turner's and that like little little carton thing, you know. Oh that, my god, I mean they put yeah, the, uh, they, they put it on the fountain at Penn Hills Gicko and people were yeah. uh, losing their minds. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh god, I would I would bring if if I saw that on a fountain, I would bring like like empty gallons, like and like empty fifty five <laughs> gallon drums and just the empty water cooler. Uh, can <laughs> yes. I, don't think, I don't think it works like that. <laughs> <laughs> now the the Seven Eleven up where I'm at, you yeah, maybe I'm thinking of Seven Eleven, you know, fill up your own slushy or something like that. The Seven Eleven up where I'm at used to have it on fountain, and they took they, they took it out already. I don't know why. Okay. It was definitely it was definitely a game changer. <laughs> so here's what Yelp says. They just updated their list for best pizza in Pittsburgh. Oh, this all is, of uh, a sudden, you know, we start talking about it on Twitter. Right, right. Now Yelp's <laughs> updating their list. <laughs> um, oh, man. Th- that was the best part of uh, when I did my thing last year is, like, I had to determine, like, who's good – like like who's good enough to be on the list and who's not. And it turns out I would tell, I, I was telling like pizza places. I was telling like, like the people that run these pizza places, you're not good enough. I didn't realize I was just, you know, just, just, just messaging people and you know basically telling them they're not good enough because in that, I was just going off. Like, I think Google reviews or something like that. Like, 
That that was I, I almost quit Twitter for good after that. That was it got so heated. It got pretty heated um this time too. Yeah, it it, it, it seems like but, it did. Well, I was you know I was. I didn't think it was bad at all. I thought it, it was wasn't very, too bad because this this time it was. I left it up to everybody. I just said, "Hey, what's your best?" I didn't. I didn't make any decisions. I just tallied the votes. So I, you know, my, my I'm, uh, I, I have no, my hands are blood free. It was much worse the last time. Yes, it much was much worse the first time. Believe me, I, I, was, I lost my mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here's what Yelp says. They have Fury's number one, and then after that, it just goes to hell. Number two, they have Ironborn. No, come on. No. T- yeah, I've yeah, never t- had. Yo, close that out. No, we're not listening to that. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, stop, listen, everybody out there, stop. Listen, I know it looks good. <laughs> I was literally just at Smallman Galley. What was that? Saturday. They put another Ironborn location, you know, a stone's throw from my house. Guys, it's it's okay. I mean, it's like the Spac Brothers pizza and all this other hipster pizza, just enough. <laughs> I, I gotta, Give me a I New gotta, York slice. Oh. Give me a Marcus I'm good, I'm good with that. I'm, you know I'm who I heard it. has a really good, I don't know if it's a New York slice, but it's a really big slice. I believe Benny Fierro's. No, I, I, is that... I, I think that's like a Virginia slice, they call it. Oh, really? It, it's not a it, it's not a New York slice. I know that because they say what it is. I'm, I'm, okay, we're gonna we're gonna get this. Virginia Arsenal. has the Virginia has their own slices. Like what the hell? I didn't Arsenal know that. Department. I never even heard of that. I just heard of Chicago, New York style. That's right, all. Right, right. Okay, number three, and I've I've been there, and I I have to agree, it's really good. Proper brick oven in, in in tap room. It's downtown. It's in the theater. It's near the theater district. Uh, it's on Seventh Street. It, it is really good. And brick oven pizza is. Uh, I, yeah, I, 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 there's one out at Robinson. It's not the same place you're talking about. I forget what it's called. There's there's one in the oh, Settlers Ridge. Here, here, Settlers Ridge. Um, I know what you're talking about. It's it's wood it, fired or something like that. Yeah, that, that's they, talking about. Cool. You're not talking about Anthony's, are you? I think so. Wet Anthony's wood fired or coal there's, fired always, or whatever. Some, it is Anthony. Wood fired options. Like there's some solid wood fire options that nobody really uh, listed. I, I feel like did anybody say Mercurio's? Yeah, that's a yeah. No, that's they a didn't. Animal firewood pizza is a whole different animal for sure. But yeah, that pizza Robins um, is delicious. But the the one that I don't like that that uh, Anthony's because they intentionally burn it. Oh yeah, they yeah. burn it I, on purpose. I think that's horrible. Well, th- I, that's kind of. I kind of like my pizza cooked a little more. Okay. In general, well, then, then you're gonna like it. I've had yeah. Anthony's. They ha- they also do that. They also do like the, the wings it, that are pretty good. That you wouldn't. Think yes. They're not yes, proud. their wings are good. I I I, I believe their their wings are. Mm, I, I forget. Are they a little well done too? I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. But the, the, no, the other wings, yeah, are good. yeah, they're not fried. So I was gonna, I, I was a very skeptical when they yes. ordered them for the table. Yes, that's but. the thing. They're not fried. They're they probably cook them in the same. They you know, do. Fire. So that's that's a really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I thought Betty Fierro's was out of uh, Virginia, and that's why they called it the Virginia slice instead of the New York slice. But uh, it, it, it is the New York slice. Yeah, I just never heard of that. That's 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 new to me. Uh, have you ever been? I know it's a chain, but have you ever been to Blaze Pizza? No, I haven't. It is basically it's the delicious. subway of pizza. It's it's pizza subway, but it's really good. And I think they do it in, I think it's in a brick oven. Um, yeah, but it, it is. It's like 180 seconds or something. That they cook yeah, the pizza in. It's yeah, crazy. it's 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 really quick. Um, and it's. It's not bad for for like a you know it's it's I don't want to say it's fast food but it's it's and it's a chain but it's a really cool concept and I mean hey it's LeBron owns it and you know is he anything really? associated with LeBron James I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he he is like one of the investors or something like that and I mean everything LeBron touches is 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 wonderful and, and awesome so pretty much know, he he can do no wrong except for his hairline. Oh well, he. 
he, he, <laughs> he fixes that. 